Financials in small caps are just a couple of the sectors our next guest wants to highlight in today's edition of Squawk Picks. Wow, you got your own edition today. Joining us now is Jim Paulson, Chief Investment Strategist for the Loothold uh, Group. Jim, a, a lot of the assumptions that you're making and, and some of the, the sectors you like, they, there's a macro backdrop that, that they assume that I think we should start with, and that is that there's a lot of reasons to think the economy is already above stall speed. I don't even, you don't even think there's additional stimulus that's needed. You think it was a V-shaped recovery and we're right in the middle of it now. And as a result, the leadership's gonna change. Right, Joe, I guess that's where I lean to, yeah. I, I, I'm not saying we're not gonna slow down. I mean, we're growing 30, 35% in the second quarter. We're gonna slow dramatically from that here in the fourth quarter. But I think we're still going to grow maybe 5 to 10 percent in the fourth. We got really strong momentum coming into the fourth quarter. And I think a, a couple other things that are really good. One of them is the, the stimulus that already been un, introduced here over the last year. And don't forget, this is unprecedented and massive stimulus. Takes about a year to start working, really. And maybe we'll start to see some of that start to work here in the fourth quarter a little bit as well. And then, of course, we could have... Uh, uh, you know, vaccine or, or treatment news uh, coming out in the fourth or even in the first quarter. I, I think we're not going to shut this recovery down and uh, we're going to uh, turn out to uh, alleviate some fears that we're going to roll over again. And if we do that, then I think some of the leadership shift that's already going on towards uh, more broader marketplace, small caps, cyclicals, uh, uh, international stocks. I think that's uh, going to broaden and continue as we move into the fourth quarter and beyond. So let's talk about things. So you like you even like uh, emerging markets if you back out China. You think China's going to there's going to be some uh, residual uh, bad feelings towards that entire market. So you like emerging markets, not China. You like you think the small caps are totally undervalued and ready to go. Is your favorite though financials? Well, financial a little different play. You know, it's uh, I, I like the industrials for the cyclicality play. Um, the financials to me is like a, taking a, a, a short on the bond market. The problem with shorting the bond market, there's a lot of difficulties in doing that. But you could go long the financials. If you look at the relative performance of large bank stocks to the market, they, they trace out almost exactly what the 10-year Treasury yield is. And I think as you look into next year, those yields are going to go higher. If, if I'm right on the macro story and growth continues to improve, then I think the Federal Reserve and other policy officials around the globe are going to have to back away from keeping bond yields low. And the, to me, we could talk about there's I think there's already yield curve management, Joe. You've got a 10 year yield, which is one percent below where the embedded 10 year inflation expectation is in tips. So we got a 60, 70 basis point 10 year and a 160, 170 inflation expectation. And normally the 10 year trades at or above that inflation expectation. So I think if the Fed has to back away, not necessarily tightening, but just stop easing so much, then I think that bond yield could move in a hurry and quite a bit and move over the course of 2021. And that would really improve financial Jim, stocks. 